Now let us see what is Clapeyron's theorem of three moments. So the Clapeyron's theorem of three moments, it describes the relationship between moments at three successive supports. That means, suppose we have three supports A, B and C. So if we have three supports A, B and C, the moment at A, see because the uh, support at A is fixed, you will have a moment at A. We will take that as MA. We will have a moment at B. We will take the moment at B as MB. And there will be a moment at C that is MC. So this is the relationship between three successive supports, moment at three successive supports and the loading on the two span between three supports. That is, see you have three supports at A, B and C and you have two spans, AC and CB. So these spans may have different loading conditions. There may be concentrated loads, there may be uniformly distributed load or uniformly varying load like that. So this is the relationship of three consecutive of moments at three consecutive supports and the loading on the two span between these supports with or without the unequal settlement of the support. That means, see this support, that is the support at C can undergo settlement or it can have no settlement. And this settlement can be equal or unequal. That is why without, with or without the unequal settlement. So the settlement can be represented by delta. And with respect to A, we can take the settlement as delta A. And with respect to B, we can take the settlement as delta B. And the supports may be at the same level or at different levels. Now, if this is the case, also, we can take the span length of span AC B L1 and for C B S L2. So, if this is the case, our theorem states that, so how can we write the relationship between the three moments is M A into L1 by I1 plus two times moment at B into L1 by I1 plus L2 by I2 plus moment at C into L2 by I2 is equal to minus 6 into A1 X1 bar divided by I1 L1 plus A2 X2 bar divided by I2 L2 plus 6 E into delta A by L1 plus delta B by L2. Whereas this M A is the moment at A, M B is the moment at B, M C is the moment at C, L1 is the span length of the first span. L2 is the length of the second span. Where I1 is the moment of inertia of the first span. I2 is the moment of inertia of the second span. And this A1 and A2. You can see A1 and A2. This A1 is the area of the bending moment diagram. A1. Area of the bending moment diagram of span. 1 first span and A2 is the area of bending moment diagram of the second span and this X1 bar X1 bar and X2 bar are the distance of center of distance of centroid of the bending moment diagram from the supports this delta A delta B are the settlement of supports Now, what is the condition, consistency condition or the assumptions required for deriving this relation is 
but the slope at the middle support calculated from the left span should be equal to the slope at the middle support calculated from the right span that means see when we are taking a continuous beam the two ends are fixed we know there will be slope there will be slope at the center support slope is dy by dx so when you are drawing the deflection diagram see your deflection diagram will be like this so at the support at the support a and at the support b our slope will be equal to zero here also dy by dx at b is equal to zero but at this point c dy by dx at c is not equal to zero and the slope at c calculated from the left span should be equal to the slope at c calculated from the right span 